Hi. Jenny March. How are we? Good. How are you? I'm good. Wow. There Here she we is. go. Hi. <laughs> how are you? I love this background, first off. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I like your hat. Thanks. And your tattoo right there. Nice one. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I got about uh 10 of them, but they're all pretty all like over. small. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're pretty much all over. Um I'm waiting to get like more on my arm. I want to do like a half sleeve or something. Yeah, I'm about to fill up my arm. Uh, what? I'm about to fill up my arm on Sunday. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, sick. So okay. Right here, it's uh so this all right here is like, yeah like Japanese inspired. Oh wow, cool. And it's like, like anime? No, um Sun okay. God. Okay. And then Zeppelin, the Sun God. And then oh, okay. his son's name in Japanese. Oh cool. And then uh the sun clouds all around. And then oh, there that. will be a uh tsunami. Oh sick. That's gonna be so cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to just get some more tattoos. I'm just waiting. When, when I first got them, I was like, oh my God. Like I, yeah. I had, it's on my chest. Oh nice. And it hurt so fucking much because it was like my first tattoo and it was on my chest. Oh yeah, that's like the yeah, it's a hard place. Mine was uh this one. It was my first one. Ooh. Does that one hurt? No, so like people are always like, oh, is that one hurt? And I was like, no, honestly, it didn't really hurt that bad. Only like towards the top of the ear where it's like more bony. Mm -hmm. um, but that was like, it was like a second. I don't know. It didn't hurt that bad. I've got a high pain. This one I hurts. High pain more. Like in, in her bicep. Oh, yeah. That's like hurt. Even worse than this. Like, Oof. I think it was because it was in the summer or the winter. So it was cold as hell. And so oh. at that time, I would smoke a lot. So every so yeah. often, I'd go outside and smoke yeah but where where are you located ventura california right oh, down the road okay. from you i believe the winter in ventura <laughs> it was like 55 so cold so cold <laughs> i'm from ohio i mean i'm ohio? not yeah i'm from ohio we get you know snow over there yeah that's real cold my business partner that's where he lives right now oh really for no cover yeah for no cover mm-hmm Oh, um, what city? Um, he said 30 oh. minutes outside of Cleveland. Cleveland? Okay, so more north. I'm from Cincinnati, so I'm on the south part of Ohio, but... One of my favorite athletes came out of uh, Cincinnati, um, Brian Pillman. Okay, what team's he on? I mean, I'm like LeBron James over here, so <laughs> my mom and him are both from Akron. Oh, really? Yeah, mm -hmm. Um, he was on the Bengals, and then he was a professional oh. wrestler. Okay, in the Cincinnati Bengals. Hello, <laughs> Yo, going to their games all the time. Um, they're not the they're not the greatest. When did he play for them? Oh, back in the eighties. Okay. But it was because he passed away. He like oh, he was wow. a professional wrestler, and then he just drugs. You know. Oh dang. God is us. That's so sad. It is. It's fucking. Well, yeah. we're here talking about madness. Let's, uh, yeah. let's talk about madness. Um, yeah. I love following your songs and hopping from song to song and Thanks. in your, uh, your outlook on the world. That's so, Thank you. It's, it's really refreshing. Um, Have you been uh, following my stuff for a minute now or something? Yeah, I... I heard about you i followed and then okay. um when i saw nick send me an email yeah i was like oh snaps i remember her. i just remembered the name and i was like oh let's go yeah let's oh cool it. hell yeah uh, um there all right i just want to uh i have a question more than a yeah. statement is okay what was the last album you had um it came the out three years ago two years ago um, so this is my first album. So okay. I had singles like okay. 2018. I dropped January, 2018. I dropped my first single. So there's definitely been a lot of growth and a lot of change from like the first singles until this, you know, the style of like this EP. 
Um, I think just, you know, as I grew up and, you know, kept growing and, you know, figuring who I was and like my sound out. Um, but I've like released music since I was like 16, 15. I just took down those old songs, you know, many long time ago. Um, that was my I, first debut EP, so. I, de I definitely noticed uh, a difference between this uh, album and yeah. the singles that you released in the past. Uh, yeah. is, is, it seems like it's so your heart, your soul. Is it, um, did you, did you guys produce it a different way or like, oh, was there an idea to go in? Like, I want to be different. Um, so I think, uh, I wasn't like, I want to be different. I just think like I was different. So I was like, the music's going to be different. It's going to be more mature. Um, and right when quarantine hit, I was like starting to work on my EP. So, um, I, you know, I had to take a step back for a little bit and, you know, figure out like what's going on with this year? Like, what are we doing? Um, how am I going to be able to do sessions? You know, how is this all going to work out? And I already kind of like knew what type of music I wanted to do. And me and my co-producer or me and my producer, um, co-writer Knox, Alex Knox Harris, I've been writing for him since like the 2018 stuff. He's just somebody I love writing with. I write with other people too, but I just, you know, he's like my homie. And, um, you know, you know, he's been there for the growth of the whole thing. And I think I just write about like my own personal experiences and what I'm going through in life for the most part. Sometimes, you know, I'm inspired by other people like close to me and like what they're going through. But I think just with growth and what I was going through and different, you know, people I met is why the music changed and also just my outlook on certain situations and, you know, just being older and understanding things more helped, you know, the music and the maturity of it my favorite song off this album is pay up really i love it, it it's it's attitude and, yeah um it's the most like to me it feels like boom there i'm here yeah. up in your face type thing that's cool I okay. love that. a lot of people not a lot of people say that's their favorite one but um that's definitely like my close friends are like jenny this is like so you <laughs> <laughs> So like, like this is so you're like your other side and I'm like yeah I know I'm a Gemini so uh, me too I'm a Gemini no way when's your yeah. birthday June 13th June 6th hey hey it's almost our birthdays happy almost early birthday around the corner yeah yeah it's Gemini season I just uh got the Gemini sign on my nails <laughs> yeah. you can see <laughs> I also have it tatted we're so. bad huh yeah, I know we're a little crazy. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy. It's a bit of crazy. <laughs> so, what is your favorite song on the album? Um, I love "Pay Up," but I think uh, "Boys Think We're Crazy" is probably in the top two. Um, I mean, there's only six of them. I love them all. It's kind of hard to choose. I love them for all different reasons. Like, I love "Pay Up" because that's like, you know, my alter ego, and "Boys Think We're Crazy." I love because it's like a song that I've just been wanting to write for the longest time. And I finally um, did it. And I think that's because I just like came to terms with, you know, what I was going through. Um, but I love Scream too, because it brings that like 80s, you know, dance vibe. And that's my second favorite song is Scream. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. the car in it is awesome. Yeah, like, I love the car. Like you can, that's the one, right? Or in the, or is it in the, in the, um, it's also inside the Las Virginas Canyons, maybe? Yeah, the, uh, the car. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We shot a music video to that song. Um, and that was like with a focus track off the EP. Um, so I'm excited. We got some other exciting um, stuff coming off the EP as well. I'm really excited about. And where'd you get that car? Cause that's, oh my God. I never expected like just you driving a car like that <laughs> oh my god I love old cars um and I just I thought it would be like such a cool just like visual um and shot and just me driving in the car and you know we didn't have like much budget so you know I was like I think this is going to be really sick and just to throw like an add animation to it I think would just like lift it up but I honestly got it off a what is that car app it's um Turo Mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking about no okay hold on 
Yeah, Turo. Okay, so it's like a app and you can just rent cars. So we rented a car for like 150 bucks for the day and it was like a sick Mustang. I think it was like 1970 or something and um, took it around and it was so fun driving it and the smell of an old car is just, it smells so nice. And it does well. It was sick and we put the little uh, spinny disco ball and it came with the car actually. And we had like talked about, you know, putting something to hang off the wheel and have it like spin and like being animated and there it already came with a freaking disco ball so it was perfect and yeah, it was convertible awesome. so we could you know mount the camera on the car and we only shot it in like you know two and a half three hours it was, it was it's really good uh this, yeah. everything with that the, the package you guys put together for yeah. the, you know that song perfect. yeah thank you um so, uh what are the greatest takeaways you have from this album that you will take into your uh, future future projects? Mm, that's a good question. Um, I think just like, uh, I mean, it's my first, it's my debut EP. So, you know, it's been like really exciting to finally create this and it, uh, took me kind of a while to be like, okay, now I'm going to create an EP because I was just dropping, you know, releasing singles after singles. And, you know, I wanted to drop, you know, more music frequently because that was just kind of like the pattern that I was seeing and um, just to get my music out there and try to get more exposure. But the whole process of the EP, like creating it, I think um, was the most, uh, I'm going to get the most out of it because I learned so much about myself through making this EP and, um, you know, I just met so many great people working on this EP as well. So I think, um, you know, the future is like looking bright and, you know, I'm really excited uh, what this EP is doing and, you know, the response I've been getting so much from the EP already is just, um, you know, really awesome. And it's really cool to see people really like vibing with it. So, um, yeah. Awesome. Um, do you have a story about the album? while creating it something funny or fun or something that mm -hmm. just a little something that maybe someone might know um yeah I mean about one of the songs for sure um I mean the songs are based off of like real life so this is kind of a funny story I guess so all in um my song all in is the number one track on the EP um it's actually written about uh my boyfriend right now and uh we weren't really dating then we were like, you know, in the, you know, beginning stages or whatever. And I wrote the song about meeting him. So I met him at my show, which I talk about in the song and met through my other friend that was performing at the show as well. And then just coincidentally, um, we went to, well, we went to the after party and he was like, I'm only going to go to the after party if you go to the after party. And I was like, well, I'm going, it's my show, you know, I'm celebrating. <laughs> and um, I get to the after party and it's at my friend Colton's house who I hadn't seen in so long and whoop to do whatever we're like you know making out whatever and um and then we start talking after that and basically we end up starting dating and then during quarantine I go to uh I'm going out to like this bar on Ventura um Boulevard not in Ventura County but you know in like Studio City and um I were like there eating or whatever and you know getting a bite to drink or getting a drink, a bite to drink. And um, uh, there's like Colton and Colton's like a video director and like has done so much work and I just have never worked with him yet, but he's been like a homie for, I don't know, like six years. And he was like, hey, what are you working on? And I was like, you know, honestly, like looking for a director for this music video. And he ends up directing the video and the house is where, I, that's where I met him is at his house too. And it's funny that he like, it came full circle. So the song written about him and he was like the one who like, you know, introduced us basically. And like, it's just a cool full circle moment, I guess. Maybe not as funny, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> a little backstory. I don't really know what else, um, but yeah. Nice. Um, what does the album mean to you? I mean, everything. <laughs> I worked so hard on it and I was like, um, you know, I was like 
a little anxious about dropping it because, you know, it's my first AP, EP, my first debut, and, you know, everybody wants it to be perfect, and I'm kind of like a, I don't know, I like, you know, to be in control of a lot of situations, and sometimes mm-hmm. letting go of that is, like, hard, um, so, I mean, this, yeah, yeah, I'm like, like a Gemini thing. I'm working yeah. on it, I'm working on it, <laughs> yeah, literally, <laughs> and uh, so, I mean, it's just, it means everything, it's like, I'm so happy now that I just dropped it, and I'm like, I released that, you know, and I, I don't feel like stressed anymore at all. Like, I'm, you know, the response has been, you know, really great, especially for an independent artist like myself. So, um, you know, I have no complaints, but I mean, you know, it's everything because music's everything to me. And, you know, um, this EP means so much to me. I mean, all the songs are a little bit of who I am and, you know, a piece of me. And so seeing that people can connect with, you know, me and, you um, you know, my personality and what I'm writing and talking about is, you know, all I can ask for. Yeah. Okay. One last question is, yeah, is Jenny March? <laughs> Great question. Um, I mean, well, I am a Gemini. I think, um, like, I guess adjectives describe me, like, um, I'm a pretty, like, chill, confident, um, adventurous, um, creative person. I love, you know, adrenaline rushes. I love doing like a little crazy things. Um, I'm definitely like really nice and like a really good friend also. Um, and like selfless, um, but passionate, very passionate. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I'm cool. I'm, <laughs> I'm a rock star. <laughs> well, and so um, I guess my last thing is, is there anything else that you would like people to know about you or this album that we yeah. haven't discussed yet? Yeah, well, okay. I'll tell you Madness is the title. Um, my last name's March. I wanted to tie in March Madness because they dropped the EP in March. Um, and madness, I feel like, you know, as a Gemini, I'm like a little mad in my head. And, you know, some of the songs are a little like, you know, you know, bad and, you know, you're like super confident. And I just always loved, like, I don't know, people would judge guys for a bunch of shit and not girls and, or they would judge girls more. And I'm like, excuse me, like, you know, I love my girls and I love, uh, boosting up female empowerment. Um, so that's kind of why I titled the song Madness, because it's just like all about, you know, the madness that goes on inside my head. Um, another thing is uh, I have another exciting, I guess, I don't know if I can say, I mean, I want to surprise people. So it's going to, it's something from the EP It's going to have, like, I'm going to drop something else, hopefully in July, because I haven't heard it yet. Um, but I have, you know, a little special something coming. So that's exciting. Um, it might involve Scream. Um, so um, yeah, I have that coming. I have a bunch of stuff coming post EP. So just make sure to, you know, follow me on my socials at Jenny March Music, you know, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. We're all on TikTok nowadays. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get better at it. I really am. Um, and yeah, check me out. <laughs> I think I went, I think I might have saw your TikTok. Do you have a dog or something? I do. A I little puppy? I do, yeah. That's She's a Siberian husky. husky named Flora. Oh my God, just got her beginning of March. She's literally an angel. Yeah, the, it, did she, is she loud? No. Okay, yeah. I'm like, like speak, loud. speak. I keep trying to get her to speak. And so one thing she's like not learning. She can do sit, paw, high five, lay down. She was like potty train. She's like such a quick learner. I was like, thank you. Yeah, but uh, no, she's like so cool, but she just needs to learn how to speak. I'm like, bark, she never barks. Yeah, when I got my puppy a few years ago, like two, three years ago, I left yeah. him outside. Well, we went to, you know, went, we went out or whatever. Yeah. And that dog literally destroyed my fucking house. Oh my like, God. Got the knives out of the butcher block, turned <gasps> on the stove. Like, how the fuck does this happen? Oh my God. What kind of dog? It was an Australian Shepherd Labrador mix. Okay. I've heard Australian Shepherds and I've seen they're like, I don't know. I guess it depends on the dog. Maybe I just got really lucky with my Siberian Husky because 
I don't know. Yeah, well, he's, he's like now. he's like perfect now. Yeah, he just has that little puppy face. You but know? that f- f- destroyed, literally trash That's everywhere. So funny! Oh my god. Oh my god. I see that. I don't know why she doesn't really bite shoes. She doesn't like take anything. I'm like just lucky. This I got so lucky. I'm like, thank you. I would have been like so mad. I would have been like, oh my <laughs> god. But I was prepared for it. But you know, I lucked out. I guess. Yeah, I lost a couple of shoes. Yeah, but puppies are the best. They're awesome. Yeah. I have to leave mine today. It's I know. Where are you fun. going? I'm going to Nashville. Oh, you are? Yeah, I'm going to do a little show out there. Um, where? where? Yeah. Uh, the 1230 Club. It's like Justin Timberlake's new uh, um, place in Nashville. So that'll be cool. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to try to get one other show or do a session out there also with a producer that I've been talking to so we'll figure it out and see and my best friend from home back in Ohio lives out there and she performs all over so she's gonna show me around okay. it'll be fun if you guys need any um uh if you if you're looking for another spot to play let me know yeah I have friends out there and they will take oh, really? yeah they'll take yeah. care of, they'll take care of you and just because of magazine you know oh cool yeah yeah I would love to. Yeah. You want to yeah. shoot Nick or me an email or something? I'll just, uh, I'll just okay. add you on the social media. Cool. Okay. And then if you, you know, if it happens, just let me know. Yeah. yeah. Let me see. Okay. Young dude, gotcha. I couldn't do it. It's Thursday, but yeah, we'll see. I fly today. I land at like 12 at midnight. Like, all right. Well, um, yeah. okay, well, thank you. Is it? Do you just follow me? Yeah. Cool. Tim. Tim. Yay. Jenny, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, you're thank amazing. you. Your your art is amazing, and you know I believe in you. Go get it. Thanks. Them. Thanks. I appreciate it. All right. We'll talk. All to right. You soon. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye.